inside Baltimore bars and restaurants. Now apparently no smoking directly outside of them either. That's right. That's according to some smokers in Hamden who say police are threatening to ticket them. 11 News reporter Josh Davidsburg has that story. For smokers in Hamden, when the problems rain, they pour. I'm doing what they want me to do. I don't, they don't want me to smoke in there. I'm not. The Clean Indoor Air Act, or smoking ban, kicks smokers like Margaret outside. If we're not going to smoke in the bar, that's fine. But don't tell us we can't smoke outside either. She says she was standing outside of the bar where she was drinking, taking a cigarette break. When a Baltimore police officer approached the group she was standing with. And he just told us that you're loitering, you have to go inside. Ben Ray is president of the Hamden Village Merchants Association. He says he's gotten several complaints from Hamden bars that police are threatening to ticket people standing outside bars for loitering. I'm a little confused. I have a lot of questions about this. I have noticed Sunday mornings, people gathering outside of churches before and after services. Does this mean that the Baltimore City Police are going to roll up on churchgoers? Baltimore police say they've always enforced a strict loitering law. When you get a people, group of people congregated outside a restaurant or a bar, if they have some alcohol in them, uh, it's very often a recipe for trouble. And the spokesman says it's taking some adjustment for patrol officers to get used to seeing people congregating outside of the bars. It's an issue of officer discretion in a lot of cases. If there's a group of people that looks like it's going to result in trouble later, you know, a police officer is well within his rights to encourage them to move on or send them back inside a bar. But for patrons like Margaret, it's a frustrating learning curve. Look at these people down there that are selling their bodies and selling drugs. I talked to one bartender and he says until this incident, the smoking man really has an affected business. In Hamden, Josh Davidsburg, WBAL-TV 11 News.